Hey people, Intro here, 33, Angstrom Heights, blue team. HBK Lorente is a plague champion, starts off in ranged combat with a damage over time bolt gun, can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair, but it's pretty slow. Alongside the Tensor Rosie Gone, there he is, Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fights in melee combat begins with a refractor shield. Is he going to put it on? That was your cue to put your shield up, buddy. I'm not going to leave until you put your shield up. There's an enemy. But there we go. He's got his shield ready. And Luciano rounds off the blue team with a war boss, a melee hero that can walk through objects, very good offense, disruption and support from the front line. Is also perpetually pissed off. Look at this wall. Screw this wall. Red team, some Eldar players. First up, Matuska with a Farseer support hero that fights in melee combat. Some powerful buffs, debuffs and control abilities. Harley Quinn elite scheme. Alongside Vlireza is a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat with some powerful disruption and support. He's shooting his lightning now, having a good time. And rounding off the team's Revs is a mech boy, a teleporting hero that fights in ranged combat, puts out some good damage and has a bunch of orky gadgets. Which is fun, he's grabbing that contested power in the northeast, kicking off in the mid. Don't think the Lord Commissar is going to be able to finish this cap, has to run away. Plague Champion might go for the cap now. Nope, pushing up. He should be able, he should be getting behind his cover over here. Does have some Nurgle worship, but he's too far forward, I think. Banshee's now making a run in. We've got double shooters with the DACA. The play champion does back away. Should be okay, I think. Yeah, he can worship again and stuff. Where are the sluggers? Sluggers be here. Trying to do some forward capping, or are they going for a flank? I think they're trying to forward cap a bit. Creeping forward again is the Plague Champion. Nova Worship's a bit too far back here, buddy. Banshees of Vlireza are hanging back a bit. Matuska with the Guardian Weapon Team on the way. That was a Destructor flying in. Wrecked those Guardsmen down to a, oh, four models, really? On 69 hit points, I thought it was one fella left. Some repairs for the Sentinel. There's those Sluggers doing their capping. What's this? We've got Eldar stuff going on now. These actually aren't Banshees, are they? It's like a Harley Quinn troop or a Harley Quinn players or something. But we'll call them Banshees because it says it right there. Farseer capping, some power bashing going on. Natural powers down in the uh, west and south corner-ish. See a lot of action early on as they try to control both of them. Warboss is going to be pierced. Howling Banshees here with the aspect of strength. Revs has lost their sluggers. Those were the guys that were capping over here. You see all the dead fellas. Kicking off in the southwest. Warboss versus Banshees. Can he get the stomp? There it is. Well dodged by Matuska. Now gets in. No guide though. Where's the guide? There we go. Guide on the Banshees a little bit late. Might be able to wipe out some shooter boys though. Almost. Now they're chopping up this war boss, knocking him down. Slugger's trying to help out, but the war boss cannot stand against guided banshees early on. Look how much work these guys did. Big chunks of XP as well. Here comes some Imperial Guard trying to help out. Banshees have to run away. This guy does have the stomp. And there it is on the Farseer's face. In the mid, we have a blue victory point. Sluggers with burners getting close. Those CSM should be forcing melee combat on them to try and finish them off. They couldn't quite manage it. Got knocked over, I think, there. Mucus discharge up for the Plague Champion. Heavy bolts are heavy weapon squad for the Tenso. Warlock's behind heavy cover, though. He's not too bothered, but now gets flanked. Guardian weapon team sets up. You usually don't see this much action on the central VP this early on this map. Usually it's around the edges. It's the southwest, and it's a lot of it, like, round here. But uh, these guys gunning for that VP early. Another heavy weapon squad on the way for the Tenso. I am I wonder if that's intended or has left them on Overwatch. That's a pro injured move right there. Storm Boys up for Luciano. And some more Shooter Boys because why not? All the Daka and all the chopping. Who can win against that? Sentinel there these repairs. Big special attack on the Storm Boys just after they jumped in. That is a Storm Boy move. Let's jump in and all get knocked over. War boss has the boss pole, which for some reason buffs Imperial Guard. They are impressed by this stick with a rag on it. Banshees 
with the war shout war bosses deep in there need some need some support play champion is there here comes the heavy bolter as well looks like the tenso did get both of those heavy weapon squad fellas banshees eat a stomp farseer now deep in enemy lines gonna go down i think on retreat yeah got way too close there's a storm boy jump from revs replace replace your sluggers with storm boys that can't go wrong these guys may be looking for a grenade as they get closer. Stormboys push the blue team back a bit. There's a grenade. Bad news for those fellas. Almost took them out. Almost took them out. 447 to 424 early on. Fierce fighting from the very moment this game started here. Immolator blade up for the warlock. You can tell it's the immolator because it's on fire. Messing up these guys pretty well. Tenso noticed late, but I think they're going to get away. I think they are. That special attack actually helped them there. It split them up enough to get away. And there is the actual immolate. You can do an immolate into a destructor, which is quite nasty. Unlock a clump of guardsmen or something. Play champion level 2. Doesn't have the energy to use his Breath of Nurgle quite yet. Revive does the Warlock, gets a level from it. We have a Spirit Stones Farsia. And a triple cap for blue team. Look at that. Some heretics with an aspiring champion getting a cap there. What is this though? Dar Avengers going for the blue team's natural now. Those heretics might catch them on retreat up there. Meanwhile, Guardian Weapon Team for Matu Squirrel goes tier 2. The first player to go. And Lorente, the second player to go, has double CSM. No Eternal War. Just has an aspiring champion and the Mucus Discharge as power purchases from what I can see. He got a bunch of gens up though, it looks like. 447 to 343. These guys might actually finish that cap. And red team might get a 2 to 1 because of it. Meanwhile, towards the northern edge of the central VP, Stormboy is looking for a target. They found it. It's a Lord Commissar. They do have power weapons, so they are a threat to low level heroes. Shield goes up though. Banshee's also there. And this Guardian Weapon Team getting shots in. Suppress this guy. Shield is down. Stayed in that fight way too long. If the Banshee stayed there, it would have gone down. But they were off chasing a Plague Champion. Now they've found some CSM who just get the cap. And then get some power melee kicks to the throat. And that guy died. Poor bastard died. Plague Champion needs to write letters home now. Triple heavy weapon squads for the Tenso. Trying to rival the Orcs for the most DACA. Which of course you cannot do. Tier 2 for Luciano. Lorente just got there. Nothing out yet. Oh, Matuska drops an Autark. She's got a cape and stuff. Because why not? 1 to 1 cap. Stormboy jump. Big Spirit Stone seal there. The Spiritual Rights, as it's called. There's a lot of Orcs. 4 4 4 to 3 2 2. Just waiting for the war boss. There's that boss bolt coming into play. Storm boys are still going to get wrecked here though. Because those are guided banshees. Special attacks all over the gaff. Storm boys barely made it out there. Single digit hit points. Banshees have their XR. War boss is looking confused. There he goes. Not sure what that was about. Seemed to like get knocked over a bit or something. 424, 322. Maybe it was a special attack in there somewhere. Lord Commissar now mixing it up with Dar Avengers. Gets a good special alongside this war boss. Autark does have a power weapon by default. Doing decent chunks off that Lord Commissar, but that was a good, a good flank from the Tenso. Autark needs to be careful. We often see her die soon after coming onto the field, but she survives there. 4 1 1 3 2 2. Kicking off in the mid now. The champion is. Plague Fisted. Smack. Also has some chosen Plague Marines up. That effect you saw was them using their Nurgle's Rot. Unique melee unit for the Plague Champion. They have power weapons that build up damage over time on the enemy. Can't melee charge, but they're tough as hell and explode on death. I think they ex these guys, when they explode, they heal each other, unlike regular Plague Rings. I think that's, I think that's still a thing. 
Slugger Boy is on the way for revs. Where are all of these heavy weapon squads then? We've got an auto cannon here. Another auto cannon here. And yeah, just get all the auto cannons. They damage everything. Why not? Not quite as potent as the Chaos ones, but still pretty nasty. Nurgle Shrine in the mid now from HBK Lorente. Can worship it to reinforce. There we go. Also, this burst of a heal and suppresses enemies too. Because you're worshipping in it, it will do that heal more often, I believe. Auto Cannon doing its thing. Warlock shrugging it off for now, but that's not going to last forever. We've got some Marco Zinc CSM. Could not get the decap over there. Big fight brewing. The start of Tier 2. Stormboys jumping in with their knob leader. Absolute chaos now. Basilisk Flare went off from the Tenso. Some Eldar chilling, chilling out on the right side of your screen. There's a warp thrown out. And a Psychic Storm. Crazy stuff. Chosen Plague Marine is getting in there. Don't think they use their Nurgle's Rock. Looks like it's a decent push by the Reds. All the heavy weapon squads are off the field. I'm not sure if any of them went down. See those Banshees getting suppressed by the Shrine there. Those Banshees, oh, I don't think they got away. Those are the Harley Quinn Banshees. Warlock mixing it up. What happened then? Yeah, Matuska lost their Banshees. All of, all of the Heavy Weapon squads did get away. And I think Lorente got away with all their stuff as well. Tier 3 for Luciano. Tier 3 also for Matuska. 332 to 294. Suppressing some Chosen Plague Marines, but these guys are tough as hell. And there we saw the explosion, which did in fact heal the other Chosen Plague Marine there that was nearby. So it does work. Stormboy jump. The knob leader allows him to stun on landing. Because he's a heavy, he's a thick boy, that guy. He's going on mid. Shooter boys trying to get. Oh, they got a decap. Well done. Take Champion's not going to be happy. He's level 4 though. Kicking some ass. Marco Zinc CSM with their aspiring champion gets that fancy demonic plasma gun. What's going on northeast? Looks like it's red with a power on it. Kicking off again in the middle. Tier 3 for Matuska. It's got a lot of requisition. Luciano can drop a nuke right now. That is a pretty early nuke. Lord Commissar's got the Xenos power claw. And carapace armor. Grenade though on the heavy weapon squad is pretty brutal. Farsia taking big chunks of damage from that power claw. Suppression saves her maybe. Oh she turns the fight. And then gets saved by an Autark leaping in. Got her spear out. It's a power melee weapon. Unlike the Banshee spear which is a heavy melee. Warboss getting... Pretty far in, but does not stick around for the power bash. Fake champion does though. He should hang out near these uh, shooter boys so he could use the uh, pestilent strike to help him out. Maybe not. I'm not interested in helping the greenskins. Here are the chosen plague marines. They almost leveled up. Orcs having to retreat as a triple shooter boys. Ortark with her jump. It heals people. Also gives them a speed boost and I think a little damage buff or something. There's a lot of stuff. Lord Commissar level 3 now has stubbornness. Can make him very tough to deal with. Pretty powerful accessory, especially since it doesn't require any thought, really. It's a passive bonus, just need to make sure you're near allies, basically. Fire Prism on the way for Vlerazer. Matuska does have a deep cannon up. Where is it? There it is. Look at the range of this thing. Could get a good singularity on this chaos stuff here actually. Grenades going in. Auto cannons are struggling to stay on the field for very long once the fighting starts. They're getting grenaded. Stuff is tying them up. This thing's sticking around though. Banshee is getting into the back lines and they go down, they pay for it. Grenades on the chosen plague marines. There's some Nurgle worship. Some good defensive plague champion play by Lorente here. Here is the fire prism for Vlirazer. Really good fire support, long range, and has some built-in disruption, but 
So I'm anti-vehicle on it, and it's not going to last long. It only has 500 hit points of Fire Prism at level 1. It's already taken damage. How is it taking damage? Did it run over a barrel or something? 332 to 206. Someone died. Who's this? It was the Farseer. Right? Yeah. Warlock's also down. Way over here. Hard to get a sense of who's doing the best in these engagements. They are pretty chaotic. Looks like the red team have had a few a few setbacks recently. Matuska dropping the Banshees. Veraza also just losing the Banshees. And their heroes dropping. I haven't seen a lot of this mech boy. Well, I mean, we've lost the indicator for him, so I probably just haven't noticed what he's doing. He's got his big shooter and his battery pack. Kicking off again in the mid, is it? Not quite. VP is uncapped here. Mechboy, I think, should be using the teleport to go after this. Haven't seen that yet, and Nob Squad is on the way, though. Could see the super tough beam in, in support of it. Lake Champion now has the Armor of Pestilence. So, shouldn't get knocked over by the Fire Prism anymore. This is a big bonus. Stormboy is jumping in. The cannon's in trouble. And there's some sluggers as well. Gonna go down, it is. I think, yeah, that was Matuska's D cannon. Hit and run from the orcs there. Warboss has his own power claw. Maybe he gave his old one to the Lord Commissar. 332201, sounds like heresy. Are these Dire Avengers gonna get away? No. Super did not. Oh, maybe. Where are they? Oh, they didn't get away. They were on the roster there for a second, like ghosts. Northern VP is being taken by Storm Boys. And they get it. They can jump on these fellas now if they want. No. Gonna play it safe and jump away. Not like Storm Boys to play it safe, but these guys are smart. Is this the same Nurgle Shrine? I think it is. It's done a lot of work for Lorente. And some power bashing from the Orcs. Blue team looking quite strong now. But red team do have a knob squad. And a avatar of Kane on the way. Knob squad here. Tier 3 unit can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anything in the game, especially when you get their upgrades, but it makes them incredibly expensive at the moment. They have Mina and Grina and their knob leader. They can also get their U-Jammers. By default, they have heavy melee damage. U-Jammers gives them a momentum bonus every time they hit and attack. I'm not sure if it also increases their base damage. Maybe it does. Maybe the tooltip will tell us. See a council on the way for Vlereza. Chaos Predator for Lorente. And an squad for Luciano. Because the war boss isn't being out chopped, I don't think. Doesn't like being out chopped. You can buff the hell out of the knob squad with hard boys and use your choppers. But uh, Mech Boy can do this. The super tough beam. 40% damage resist. Immune to knockback and suppression. It's a pretty crazy buff. Not sure how long it lasts, probably 10 seconds. Red team getting that VP back, 303, 201, and they get it. Look at that. Play champion now, getting stuck in. Gonna try and get the cat back. Big push by the blue team. There's the avatar of Kane from Matuska. Super unit for Eldar. Some powerful combat abilities, and has some really powerful passive buff aura as well. What's it going for here? A Wailing Doom and a bunch of Orc stuff. There it is. Holy crap. Warboss wants a fight. Gonna get a hell of a fight against an Avatar, I tell ya. Auto Cannon continues to do some work. Stormboy is getting stuck into some Dark Creepers. I think those guys were. They're gone now. Avatar taking a lot of damage. All of those Auto Cannons are still in play. Gonna done a good job keeping all those guys alive, has the Tensor. Avatar taking tons of damage. Doesn't really want to fight a knob squad, this guy. Wrath of Cain. I think it would take too long to use Wrath of Cain at this point. It's got a bit of a build up, that thing. 294188. Avatar, I think, is going to be okay at 300 hit points. Grenade used to help it escape. Nicely done by Matuska. Uh oh, rocks on the base. Avatar might need to move it. Is it going to take out a D cannon? I think the Avatar is going to be okay. And D cannon does live. 
That was a bit of a wasted nuke there from Luciano, actually. Heavy armor war boss, this guy up over 2,000 hit points now at level 5. Manticore for the Tenso goes tier 3, the last player to go. Where does it cancel? Hanging out at base. Hiding from the falling space debris. Still have that contested power, the red team. Here comes an Autark. Jumping on some heretics. I assume she can chop them up even with their aspiring champion. Not sure why you Doom Blast her. It's not the most efficient thing to use on a single entity in terms of damage. And you don't need to suppress her, you need to fight her. Good special. Yeah, she's dealing with them pretty well. They are worshipping right now for some reason. Misclick from Lorente. Uh oh. She almost finished them off. How much XP did she get for that? Quite a lot. Halfway through level 3 right now. Got two red heroes down in the mid. The mech boy and the Farseer. I think the Farseer... No. Nope. She did move. I thought she was still in that same place. There's a big old jump. Has the Manticore shot yet? It must have. Pain way up for Rebs to do its surgery on the Nob Squad. Maybe there's the Manticore strike. Very long range artillery, but you need to manually target each missile. 286 to 180. Predator tank did not last long, I guess. Didn't even see what it did or how it blew up. Luciano going for a virus. A really good singularity there. This leveled up shooter boy has somehow survived with the boss pole bonus. Big push by the blue team now. Trying to get that central VP back. Avatar's heal. Nob squad going after the war boss. There's the frenzy. Level 5 war boss here. Frenzy giving these guys 75% damage resist and suppression immunity. Doesn't last very long and it does cost you 75 red though. Orcs, of course, passively gain the red resource as the game goes on. The only faction to do so. 265 to 180 on the VPs. One to one cap here. Super tough being knobs in on the poor heavy weapon squad, fellas. They do have their hammers now. 36 heavy melee DPS. I'm not sure if that's more than the used choppers. It must be. It's certainly not less. It's going to be the same with momentum or more. I assume it's more. Probably not a huge amount more though. Level 6 play champion. There's that pestilence strike. A little bit of a stun on the Autark. Get some hits in. Not the most powerful DPS in terms of power fists this thing. Only 72 rather than 84 something something as the other power fists have. Also the, I think the Xenos power claw is like 84 something. Where's that pain boy? Has he already done his surgery? He's got the equipment for it. Probably buff the knob's speed or health. It's generally what you see. I think speed is the most useful to get for those guys. Tosses the chosen plague queens away and puts a bunch of fire on them. Garn mental this guy with Providence up. Warp throw and the emulator. Another destructor goes off. Did a lot of work there. The warlock couldn't quite kill one of these fellas. Oh, he goes down. The curse of injured strikes again. Just as I praised what he did. There's that Lord Commissar, the Xenos Power Claw. Level 4 here. Fire Prism on the way for Matuska. Still, this one is up for Vlireza. Big Champion making a run at the enemy's VP. Messing up the mech boy who has to teleport away. Now fighting the Storm Boys, is he? Nope. Probably should have stayed there and fought the Storm Boys. Going for the VP, which is a big mistake. Not sure what you're up to here. Lorente, that was a big misplay. Loses a level 6 peg champion when it really didn't need to. There's a Psychic Storm from Matuska. Oh, now has the armor of the Assyrian. Spirit Stone's also up. Or top level 3. There's that second Fire Prism and a Rocks. That, I guess that was Luciano again. Pretty good one. Lots of dead stuff. And now 
an Imperial Abyss from Lorente. Orcs be dying. And an Eldritch Storm in the mid. Absolute chaos. What does the battlefield look like now? Luciano lost a bunch of stuff. So did Villareza. See, so Council did survive though. So did these fellas somehow. Warlock did not. He's over there. Manticore strike. He needs to be so careful with this Manticore. The Nob Squad, look at it funny. And it's going to blow up. Look at that. Spiritual Rights heal on some knobs. Level 9 Farseer. Don't think I've seen Time Field used yet. Manticore survives. There's a Lehman Rust now for the Tenso. Goes for the execution. That's mainly to help combat the Nob Squad. But it is a relatively short range weapon. So needs to be careful. Not cheap as well as you saw there. Lehman Rust is an expensive tank. There it is though doing its work. Look at that thing. Do you want a tank with a fast firing plasma cannon? Yes we do. How many can you get me? 189 to 143. 1 to 1 cap. Great unclean one on the way for Lorente. Rebs could drop a nuke. That could be telling. So can Matuska. And the Tenso is not far off as well. Storm boys don't have their knob leader here. But here's some knobs if you wanted some. There's a super tough beam. Going straight for the Lehman Rust, their biggest threat. We do have some plasma guns around though, they will damage the knob squad. Frenzy now takes over for the super tough beam. The center is red, 2 to 1 cap for the red team. And they're on this, look at this. Autark gets the decap while attacking some heretics. In the mid, the knob squad gets away. Level 4, these guys. They didn't even drop a model. Eldritch, oh, hits the orcs pretty well. I think the knob squad retreated just in time not to get a full hit on. And they are okay ish. Autark does escape. Heretics now trying to cap. Ooh, strangely spread out. Double Marcos in CSM there as well. Both level 4, are they? Yes, they are. So much DPS. Level 10 Farseer gets the revive. She's been pretty awesome going for this Singing Spear. I don't know if Vlereza realizes. Nope, they went down again. They went down again. This Fire Prism has done well, level 3. They Champion has also been pretty awesome. Level 7 gets away. Probably. Why, should I, why did I say that? Gonna have a heart attack now. I think he's alright. There's a great unclean one for Lorente. Super unit for Chaos. Passively damages nearby enemies and has some nasty combat abilities too. He's found a pain boy. Smack. Is that a Manticore? It is. Pretty flush hit on those orcs there. That would wreck a fire prism if they could get some shots on it as well. There's big damage to vehicles, a Manticore. Ground team one's found something to eat. Avatar with a wailing doom. How is this Manticore still alive? Avatar might be able to get it here. Nope. Did not want to try. Here comes some Storm Boys in on the Heavy Weapon Squad. That's a Bomber Boy uh, from the improved Rocket Pack there. Bomber Boys are so fun. Grand Clemon got very close to some knobs and an Avatar. Remember what I said about knobs being able to go toe to toe with anything in the game? Here we see it. Going up against a greater demon. These guys are level 4 as well. They are not messing around. Great and clean one's very low. And goes down. Now this guy will explode on death. Doing tons of damage to nearby enemies. And healing nearby allies. On rocks now. I think these knobs are far enough away not to get hit by the explosion. Wait, it hit a couple of them. That's a lot of damage too. 1-1-1, one, 1-4-3. One, 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 Lehman Rust goes down. That might have been friendly fire from the Manticore, but it might have just been the Fire Prism or something getting a shot in. Another Lehman Rust from the Tenso. Luciano needs to get something on the field here. Another Nob Squad, maybe? What level are these guys? They're level 2. Don't have their... Oh, they do. They do have their Nob Leader. And there's the U-Jammers. Rocket Run now from the Tenso. 
Not sure exactly what they are aiming at. It's not very good for vehicles. Mainly an anti infantry nuke. 107 to 143. Here's the ever present auto cannon from the 10. So level 4, these guys. Oh, they de set up. I thought they were going to shoot the pain boy there. War boss gets the cap. Level 7 up to 21, 32 hit points. What is this? It's more harassment from the autarch. He's done a great job on this VP. It's messing up some Chaos Space Rings alongside the level 10 Farsi with his singing spear. Is she going to die? I believe a level 10 hero gets 33% more melee damage. So that's a hell of a lot of damage on that singing spear. What of that? It's like over 100 at that point. 100 DPS, I believe. Or very close to it. Mega Rumbler for the mech boy. D cannon on the way for Matuska. The chosen Plague Marines are still around level 3. They really are chosen. They found a Seer Council to fight. Level 4 Seer Council as well from Blirazer. The VP is blue for now. Red team have the mid back though. 71 to 143. Red team looking pretty good. Can the red team, can the blue team, sorry, bring everything to bear in the mid because they're having to watch their own VP a lot. There's now a webway up there as well. Much harder for the plague champion to get over to the natural VP of the red team than it is for Eldar to do so. They're so quick. How did the storm boys live? The level four, they lived. Lehman Russ with Vanquisher going after the Fire Prism. The, one of the last things that a Fire Prism wants to fight is a Vanquisher Lehman Russ. I hear an Eldritch, there it is. 100 VPs now to make up for the red team. For the blue team, sorry. They're getting that central VP back though. It's a good target for a Singularity, I'm not sure if it's available. 34 to 143, there it is. Double knob squad for Luciano wrecking some stuff, then gets singularity. Looks like they weren't too bothered though, to be honest. Now a Seer Council on them. The Seer Council will do a lot of damage to a knob squad. They are heavy infantry against those power melee weapons. There's a Mega Rumbler now. talk about disruption but like the ultimate disruption ability this thing 34 to 130 what am I hearing a time field I think I think there might have been a time field over here predator tank for Lorente with the mark of corn it's getting some zombie storm boys as well thanks to the Nuggles rock mid is still blue 34 119 can they get onto red teams natural they're not giving them a moment over here. Keep this keep this Predator tank back here, I say. I say keep it back there. Send the Plague Champion forward with his fist and his heel and stuff. Grenades going in over it. 2-1 to one cap. Plague Champion has come to the mid instead. These guys must be level 4 and they are. Oh, look at that. 35, 13 hit points. Awesome stuff on those Chosen Plague Marines. Plague Champion actually retreated out. Wants to get his health back. Noise Marines now for Lorente. Most likely they want to get a Blast Master up in the mid. Are we going to see Matuska make another run at the VP? I assume so. Autark, Farseer and Seer Council would make a hell of a run at that VP. The Chaos Predator is back there. Showing its rear armor though. Doesn't want to do that. Like not right now, Matuska's towards the southwest. Oh, here we go. It's a knob squad on the mech boy using the webway. Okay, then. Level one knobs, brand new. Another avatar on the way now for Matuska. Luciano dropped both of their knob squads, gets another one. I guess they were lost in, yeah, look at this, that big fight that happened in the mid. That's a lot of dead knobs, that's crazy. 34 to 64. 
two to one cap for blue. They're holding on, but for how long? Tank needs to be very, very cautious about these knobs. Needs to get moving. There we go. Fake champion goes after them. Now some Eldar coming in. Lorente is going to need help here. Some sluggers and some storm boys to help out. Knobs got to dealt with. Now they need to deal with, deal with the Eldar. And look, they brought a D cannon. The mines are a good play here. 34 to 60. Those are most likely dropped in by the Tenso. It's a good Noxious Cloud. Look at that. It's a really good Noxious Cloud. What is this? That's a singularity, I guess. Yeah. Just mince everything. Friend and foe. Day Champion getting a VP back. 34 to 60. Red Team can't quite get their hands on the central VP. Blastmaster goes down. Didn't last very long. Nob Squad got on it. Level 4 Nob Squad as well. That was pretty painful. Level 8 War Boss. There's that Lima Rust that you saw take the Fire Prism down. Dark Creepers now for Vlerazer. Revs can drop a nuke. Doesn't look like anyone else can right now. Another Chaos Predator for Lorente. Blue team need to try and send something here. Would do so much for them. Center is uncapped. There's the Avatar trying to get in on the Lehman Russ, but the Tenso is live to it. There's another Lehman Russ. They shoot so fast when they have that Vanquisher. Chosen Plague Green is getting a cap. Lorente bringing the Predator way far forward there. It looks like the Plague Champion is taking it upon himself to guard this VP. And there's the 2-1. to one. They really need to send something here. It's so open. So open. Jump some Storm Boys over there or something. Mines dropped in by the Tenso. Mechboy can also chuck mines around, but he doesn't have them. Level 7, this guy. Some Fire Dragons from a 2 score on the way. Plague Champion defends the VP against the Warlock, takes him down. Is that a Manticore Strike? I think it is. Pretty well hit as well. Warboss might need to flee. He's a tough fella, but uh, has two knob squads and down you go. Level 4 and level 1. Luciano is looking quite depleted, he needs to get something on the field. 34 to 26 on the VPs. Red team going for a decap here. Where are those knobs though? There they are. This is bad news for the Lehman Russes. Even their headbutts are heavy melee. And then you forget it. Rocks on the central VP stops the cap. Well done, Luciano. You need to get something on the field though, buddy. What did they just spend their requisition on? Oh, they repurchased the war boss. Who's very high level, so it's very expensive. Down goes that Lehman Russ. Single cap now for red. Touch of Noga Heretics helping to defend here. Big mistake from Blue Team, I think, not sending anything to this for quite a while now. There's the double cap for red. Is it going to be enough? GG says Revs. I think it is. Red Team take it. Red Team take it, and that's all because of Matuska's excellent harassment of this VP. Other players did it as well, but it was a lot of the Autark. When have we seen an Autark this affected even a 3-3 in a 3v3? She was pretty awesome. But yeah, Blue Team didn't get on that natural enough, I don't think. Level 9 Plague Champion. Level 8 Commissar. Level level 8 Warboss. Level 10 Farsi. She was level 10 for ages as well. Level 5 Warlock down at the end and a level 7 Mech Boy. What an awesome 3v3. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.